All right, YouTube. What's up? Peace. Peace in the Middle East. It's your boy, Staff Sergeant Calhoun, coming at you again live from Whittier. Uh, what is this? Wednesday. Wednesday afternoon. And uh, let me show you guys. That is the Amazon Echo Dot. Echo Dot. Trying to let me know that something I already know, which is that my package has arrived. And there they are. So, we do a quick unboxing. You guys are probably fed up with unboxing videos, so I'll try to make it as painless as possible. Oh, God, popcorn, man. Um, I'm a popcorn nut. If you guys don't know anything about me, you do now. I like popcorn. Uh, and I don't know where my knife is, my little box opener knife. That I always have handy and for some reason I don't have it handy at the moment but you know what I'm sure I have something in here a little tool kit oh yeah it's a good box opener right there matter of fact this is uh, leftover from when I worked at Amazon I used to work at this particular Amazon. As a matter of fact, I worked there a whole year. Anybody who's ever worked at Amazon, big ups. Shout out to uh, the uh, Rosemead team over there. Hard working bunch of people. All right, so you guys are going to see what I'm going to show you. I know the anticipation is probably driving you nuts because you're probably like, what the heck is, what's he doing, man? What has he got? So you're going to find out. All right, so batteries included, uh, whatever. So here's the unboxing, and you're going to see what it is. All right, packaging, we're going to have to get rid of that. Here this thing is in all its glory, brand new, and Something I learned, and it's proven itself to be true, is that when you're shopping on Amazon, you can see the one that says new, in box new, or used, like new. So uh, I'm sure you guys that are Amazon shoppers that are like, um, you know, familiar with buying a lot of products through Amazon and have tried different ways to buy stuff used, new, or like new. Or sometimes it'll say used, good, or used, uh, you know, slight imperfections. Whatever it says, when you see it says used, like new, it's pretty much brand new. But the box had a dent or a little bit of damage. But literally, the item is new. So I got hip to that. Um, and so I bought this one, this unit here that I'm going to talk about used like new so currently this this uh particular thing that i'm going to talk about came out about a year ago it came out in 2019 when it first came out i think it it retailed for 159 dollars since then there's been an updated version or a, a newer model that has come out in 2020 that everybody's buying that one um, this is the third iteration uh, of this particular uh, type of device um, or product, so the fourth generation is now retailing for about 159 bucks, 160. So the new third generation, like this here, uh, typically go for about 119 to 125. I haven't seen them seen them really more than 125, um, unless unless you're going to get all the fixins to go with it, then. Uh, sometimes they may be 126, 127, whatever. But bottom line, the average price is 119 bucks. So use like new. I got this one here for $91. And it's brand new. So that's a good deal. Now, with that $91, um, I got a coupon plus the Amazon shipping. They took off an additional, I forget exactly, I think it was 10%. So I ended up getting this 
for like 86 or 87 or something, whatever, 10% off of 91, right? So the bottom line is let's talk about what it is. It came from the Amazon warehouse. You know, great deals on used items, right? Like I said, it's brand new. <laughs> Just repackaged or there was a ding on the on the packaging. So they sold it as used, which is cool. Still a brand new unit. It's still in the, look at that. It's wrapped in original packaging. It comes in the original box. What this is, so I can clarify for those of you who don't know, some of you guys know, some of you guys don't. I just got hip to these myself um, and did some research, and that's why I bought it, because uh, I'm trying to up my YouTube game and up my my cinematography and filming game and get more professional with the way I do my presentations for YouTube and just for traveling and going abroad when this COVID thing lifts, I want to do some more traveling. And this is going to help me do some uh, documentation and filming uh, of that, of those travels. And I want to get some nature shots. I want to do some, I like animals and I like the ocean. I like culture. I like people. I like cuisine. And this is going to help me capture all those moments. What this is, is the Osmo Mobile 3 Combo. I got the Combo, which like I said, is the more expensive uh, you'll see those online right now for the third generation, about 125 bucks, 126. And I got this for 80 something, really good deal. You could, man, if you're into these, you know what I'm talking about. How good of a deal this is. So, uh, like it says right here, thanks to you, this product has a second life. Basically, like I said, this is a brand new unit that had a damage on the box. Nobody ever used it, but they say it's used. That's just the way it works. So let me finish opening it and tell you guys what it is. What it basically is, for those of you who don't know, it's a gimbal. A gimbal is a, uh, a fancy way of saying a gyro stabilizer. And when I say gyro stabilizer, a little bit of history about what a gimbal is. <sighs> he was a man who worked in Hollywood and was a, I think he was a cameraman. And he designed a game changer type uh you know invention for that forever set movies different uh it was first used in steady cam uh in the movie rocky the original uh, uh, release was in 1976 that movie rocky where they use something called a steady cam when rocky runs up the steps and they go around the camera goes around him in, in a 360 degree circle and he's you know uh you know, jumping up and down with his fists in the air. That Everybody knows that iconic scene from Rocky where he's training and getting in shape. And there's the music and it's a dramatic moment. And then the video of that stabilized camera makes it even better because it was used on a gimbal. The steady cam, which was a man-held camera of a, of a cameraman running around uh, holding this movie camera that was stabilized because of something called a gimbal. And so the man who designed it, I guess his last name was Gimbal. He gets the credit for the unit, so it's forever called the Gimbal. Um, and that thing is pretty big. It's a pretty, you know, Hollywood back in the 70s was using, you know, large, large style cameras. So now to see from 1976 to here we are in October of 2020, to see how amazingly compact and small that technology can be. Uh, replicated, duplicated, and put into such a small unit, but yet it still has exactly the same functionality. It's amazing. So, uh, I, by the way, I highly recommend you guys get one of these. This thing is great for opening up packages. It's a safe way to open up packages, boxes, and so forth. For all my Amazon people, you guys, you guys are very familiar with this. You can buy these online at, at Amazon, or go and get a job at Amazon, and they give these out like lollipops. Okay, so like I told you, original packaging, as you can see, it's still, it hasn't been used. This is brand new. You're talking about potentially a $160 unit, and since it was marked down, about $125 to $126 because it comes with everything. The Mobile 3 combo, combo meaning it has everything. If you just get this Osmo unit by itself, it's just the actual uh, gimbal. Those are retailing for about 119 on Amazon. And if you get them used, you know, about 95, 96 bucks. 
I saw one for 91. There was only like one or two of those left. And then I got 10% off of that. So cool little case it comes with. Let me turn on the light so you guys can see it. It says Osmo on it. DJI, DGI is the company. I always mess that up. I always say DJ. It's because I'm a DJ. Um, it's, it is, or no, it is J. DJI. So I'm on DG, DJ. So yeah, DJ. DJI, right? So the DJI Osmo, um, you know, the Osmo combo, which is this cool little unit here. What it does in a nutshell it stabilizes your cell phone into these little clamp-like holder things, as you can see in this picture. That dip, dictates, you know, depicts, uh, in essence, what you're doing. And what happens is there's these motors, these gyro motors that are in here, right here in that area, that stabilize. So if you're holding the the uh, hand handle here, and you're moving the image of your camera stays horizontal unless you want to flip it and make it a um like a uh, I forgot what you call it like this is like your horizontal shot and then this is your um gosh there's a word for it um but it's you know basically you know vertical horizontal but there's a word I'm looking for and I can't think of it so when you're in your vertical position it's going to stabilize. And when you're in your horizontal position, it's going to stabilize. And you hit this button and it, and it flips. You, you hit this button twice and it'll flip that way. You hit that button twice again, it'll flip back horizontally. So this is it. It's a really cool case. Very, very cool case. So let's open it up. And I'm doing this kind of like a one-handed operation. So bear with me a little bit. Okay. Pretty sturdy case. Feels good. I like the color. It's kind of got like a gunmetal, tactical, flat. Everything's tactical with me. All those years in the Marines. Um, I don't know what this is all about. It's just something that kind of, I don't know. And then it's very compact, as you see. You got your USB, your USB charging port right here. So that's where you would uh, charge the unit. And I'm sure it needs to be charged. And then it comes with the stickers. That's that's another indication that this is brand new. Because if this was used, those stickers would be removed. Because these stickers are, are supposed to be removed. You read it, and then you remove the sticker. And you have all your little... These little things in there like that to separate. So that there's no scratches. Another indicator that this thing has never been used. So like I was saying, if you're going to buy from Amazon... And you're not hip to the used like new. Buy the used like new. Little pro tip for you guys. Pro shopper tip. Use like new. Get it. <laughs> Save yourself some money and you're still getting a brand new product. Most of the time. Generally speaking, you're going to get a brand new product. Here's some silica gel, which is just desiccant, which absorbs moisture. That's why it says do not eat or throw away. You just keep it in there. It keeps it from collecting moisture, which when you have electronic uh, equipment, you don't want moisture to be in there. Okay, so let me tell you my first thoughts. It's light. Um, it looks cool. I like the colors. I like this, the you know, the pistol grip style trigger. And let me see if I can open this thing up a little bit because it, it I'm, I'm using one hand here oh gosh can't really get it to move even though I want it to move it just there it goes okay so it clicks it clicks into place and that's how and then so what you're going to do is hold it Here's your controls. That button right there is for record, the little red button. If you double tap that button, it flips the, uh, you know, the perspective of the camera. And then you have your menu button right there. And then here's your, your zoom, like telephoto and wide angle. And then on the front is your trigger. And I'm not really sure what the trigger is for, but every button has a specific function. Uh, okay, so... There's a there's a 
a little, you see that little screw hoo deal right there? That is for this, which is a tripod, and I'm going to open that up. Uh, let's see how to open, best way to open this up. Okay, so there it goes. It's opening. Okay, you have the tripod, which is also still packaged, so it's brand new, like I keep saying. Man, that is literally brand new. It has never come out of there. Okay, so there it is. So you screw that let me turn the light off because it's kind of all right so you screw that into the back of there and then you have a stable tripod which this opens up and i'll show you opens up like so there's your tripod screw it in the back of here which i'm going to do And it's going in. I'm just trying to make sure the threads don't cross. Okay, so there it is. And it sits like that. Now, in here, you also have, there's another little piece of gear in here, in the box. So I'm gonna pull out, which is a strap, like a wrist strap. So that you can connect this that little thing to the unit and then that keeps it on your wrist obviously so you don't drop it and lose your nice new uh, electronic cool little gadget okay so there's something else in there too and i don't know what it is but there okay so now you have the usb us it's a usb c as you see it's still completely wrapped and i know i keep saying it but if you see use like new, I suggest, my recommendation is, go ahead and treat that as if it's new. When I say use like new, they're not too far off from the truth. So it's a USB-C. That's the USB-C style connector, which is more popular now than the old USBs. I don't even know what the old ones were. But these USB-Cs are way, way better, in my professional, amateur opinion, whatever you want to call it. So anyways, you got a USB, but this is going to connect to your phone. So you, you also use this to charge this, which I'm going to do next. But then you're going to connect this to the USB here. And then the C part, since I have an Android, can connect to my Android phone and charge my phone while I'm filming, if I so desire. So supposedly, and I'll tell you guys the truth as I go is that once this is fully charged, it will uh, work continuously for 15 hours, which is way longer than your phone will last. Um, but this has a 15-hour uh, battery continuous use, which is pretty cool. Pretty amazing, actually, because I've seen a lot of reviews on YouTube, and that's what made me want to get this one, because there's other gimbals out there, other brands. But the DJI is the one that caught my attention more than the other ones. There are several out there competitive uh, with this market. But this is the one I chose. And it's the same company, DJI, that makes the DJ, DJI drones. Which I'm also buying one of those as well for my, for my aerial photography game. Uh, again, to step up my game with YouTube, with uh, filming, uh, with my physical fitness stuff. And hopefully I can get into some real estate uh, drones, uh, real estate filming. Um, just basically just doing a lot more commercial work with film and still shots. And that's first things first as I invested. So, you know, the education comes along with it as well. So now I have something that I can actually use and practice with and every every person i've talked to professional and amateur photographers who are doing really well have their own professional youtube channels and they're doing really well with that or they're just professional photographers or videographers they all say the same thing just make movies and you're going to learn as you go because you get better the more you do it 
You're going to make a few mistakes. You're going to learn from those mistakes and you're going to constantly improve. So it's like you can have a driver's license, but unless you buy a car and drive a lot, you're not going to become a better driver. Same thing here. So that's why I bought that. I want to be a better filmmaker, a better photographer, a better videographer, a better YouTuber, um, and up my game and also do some, uh, it's going to force me to get out there and be more active and do more fitness stuff, which is really big with me because it's health, health is wealth. And, uh, I'm a DJ. So this is also going to help me with my DJing because I'm going to, you know, videotape my, my, uh, gigs and my practice sets. This is kind of part of that. So it's all inclusive. I'm a DJ, um, fitness I'm kind of a fitness nut, not a, not a nut. I just like being healthy and I want to take care of myself and I, I enjoy fitness. I like the endorphins that you get from working out and it's just good to take care of yourself because you only got one of you. So do the best you can to take care of that you. And so photography's always been one of those things I've tinkered with my entire life since I was a kid, since I was nine or 10 years old with the Polaroid and I like videography. I like movies. And so it's a natural progression. I wish I would have done it sooner to take this uh, next level kind of thing step. But hey, you know, there's never never too late. Just follow your passions, follow your dreams. The money comes after um, because if you're only doing it for the money and you're not doing it for the passion, you're not going to have the same motivation. I'm doing this more of a passion. And I think that if as the more I put into it, the more work I put into it, the more passion and love and interest I put into it the more it's going to give back to me, just like anything else. You treat a dog good, that dog's going to love you back. You treat your wife good, hopefully she loves you back. <laughs> so um, that is, in a nutshell, what I got, which is this cool little case in a gunmetal gray. The uh, USB Type-C charger, the wrist strap, the tripod, which you see there, and the actual unit itself, which... I think needs to be charged. I'll go ahead and try to turn it on just in case to see if there's any battery life in it. Okay, there it goes. So it is. it does have a small charge in there. It looks like it's three quarters of the way charged. So I can mess around with it. And let me see if I can show you how to set this up. So when you're setting this up, actually, you know what? I, I can, but I have to use my other phone. So, um, cause I'm filming with my cell phone. See, I got to up my game. Like I keep saying, I got to get another, I have to get another, um, another phone. Okay. So I don't know where my other phone is now, but anyways, the, the point being is basically this is that you put your phone in these little, you know, let me turn the light on. You put your phone in here and then you balance it. And then once it's balanced horizontally and vertically, you're good to go. And then uh, it'll operate. So I'm going to have to do some uh, secondary video stuff for you to really see how that works because I unfortunately only have one way to show the... Um, the Osmo because I'm using the camera right here again I got to step up my game so I got to get another camera so um, I saw some videos on that too there's some suggestions from a lot of the YouTube vloggers recommend you know they recommend some some Canon D50 or something and then there's a Sony that everybody's recommending now the Sony's kind of expensive it's like 800 bucks but the Canon's about $499 and it's somewhat compact, but a lot of vloggers, I guess, swear by it is, is an entry-level way to do your vlogging, your YouTube vlogging. So I'll probably end up investing in the Canon. I, I've used Canon products in the past. I had a Canon Rebel for many years before it finally took a dump on me. But I had that thing. It was a tank. I had it for like 12 years before it finally went out on me. So I had a Canon Rebel, so I'm very familiar with the Canon platform. So I'll probably buy that Canon D50. Uh, it's like a $499 uh, camera, but it's not just for vloggers, but it has removable lenses, but it's small enough to where vloggers get a lot of use out of it, and it has a lot of capability. 
uh, the light settings, you know, the ISO settings, the lighting and so forth. So I guess for vlogging, that's a popular way to go. And who am I to, to argue? So just wanted to share that with you is that this is my latest purchase. This Osmo Mobile 3 Combo from DJI. And I'm looking forward to getting to use it. And oh, also... Uh, it came with, you know, so since I'm trying to do more, I'm trying to step up my game and do better, better quality videos as opposed to my, my, um, standard, you know, cell phone quality videos, uh, which nowadays cell phones are really, really cool as far as the quality of the video. I mean, high def and 4k and 2.7k and 1080p, you know, 12, 13 years ago, that was something that just wasn't a reality for cell phones but and 12 you know 12 13 years ago if you had a camera on your phone that was kind of like wow you know so now the cameras are like comparable to professional level i mean you can there's you'll look on youtube if you some of you already know this there are actual filmmakers who have shot entire movies just using their cell phone an iPhone or or Galaxy Note or whatever, and I'm shooting this on a Galaxy A20 just so you guys know, which I like. It's for a smartphone on the lower end of the smartphone spectrum. This is a really good phone. It retails for about 235 to 250 bucks. When I got it, I only paid 100, so I got a deal. I'm gonna turn the light on again for you because I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So I got the the SanDisk 32 gigabyte. Um, SD card, which is apparently this one is the ultra, so it's better for photos and full high definition video. So everyone on YouTube says if you're going to do videography or take photos, get the SanDisk. This is right there, A1 for faster mobile app performance. So <clears throat> again, who am I to argue? So this was like only eight dollars and fifty cents, a thirty-two gigabyte storage that supposedly captures high def and uh, compressed video and stuff like that. So got that. I'm telling you, I'm stepping up my game. And this is something else I'm excited about. It's really cool, and I'll show you guys what this is. I like sharing this stuff with you guys. Um, especially for you guys that are YouTubers, man. Like you guys that like are like me that are just really into YouTube. YouTube is just a phenomenon. I've been um, part of the YouTube community for many, many years since since I guess around 2008 or something around there. That's when I first got hip to it, and I was like, wow, this is cool, and I started my channel, and, you know, I just messed around. I'm not, like, a professional YouTuber or vlogger, but, again, I'm trying to get there, stepping up my game, and they really package this thing up pretty good. So now I'm going to tell you guys what this is. This is pretty cool. What this is is an anamorphic phone lens. Let me turn this off. Okay, so the anamorphic phone lens, in a nutshell, this is literally a lens, like a camera lens, for your cell phone that allows you, the filmmaker, videographer, vlogger, to shoot in cinematic form or cinemasco cinemascope. And usually when these guys are making these professional and semi-professional projects these filming projects with their cell phones typically they're using filters and they're using these kind of lenses like this to get that cinematic style like when you watch the movie batman the original batman series uh, movies with uh, i say original but not the original with uh, uh michael keaton but the ones with christian bale that, that was shot in cinema cinematic cinemascope style uh, like where it's where it's stretched out uh, horizontally but not stretched out vertically it's the same vertically so that the, there's no distortion of the actor's face but it's just got a longer wider shot 
this right here amazingly accurately duplicates that exact effect. So when you film with your cell phone, you can literally make a Hollywood style production that looks like a Hollywood style movie just by using your cell phone. Of course, you got to do some editing in a post production on your uh, your software like you know Adobe Premiere or uh, iMovie or what is it uh, Final Cut Pro? Those kinds of softwares that help you to adjust the lighting and sound and so forth. And then you have to record sound. There's a whole lot of stuff you got to do. But this is a 1.33, which is that's the size. So when you hear when you hear people say 1.33, they're talking about the size. What it does is it it's while it's here, it's gonna it's gonna squeeze the the um, the video. And then if you have an app, which I do have. Uh, to unsqueeze it while you film, that's one less step you have to do in post production. So, this let me take this out of here. So, ultimately, this is going to help me again stepping up my game. And wow, it's it's challenging to let me set this down, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you, it is challenging operating with. While I'm holding that phone. Okay, so. All right. Thank you guys for being patient. Hopefully, hopefully you guys don't give me a thumbs down for this nonsense. <laughs> Just, anyways, this is brand new. Uh, the cost. Let me tell you, the cost of that was nine uh, eighty. It was ninety one plus take ten percent off for this. So it was like eighty something. This the cost was eight dollars and fifty cents, I believe. Thirty two gigabyte. SanDisk, good for uh, high definition uh, video and uh, pictures, still pictures. So this comes with a cleaning cloth or a, you know, like a little microfiber cloth to clean the lens because this literally is a, a, a true camera lens and it's brand new. And so here you go. This little thing clips onto the, to the phone, which I'll have to do again. Um... I'm using the phone, so I can't do it as we speak, but I need to buy another camera so that I can videotape this stuff over here from a secondary source. So as I'm, you know, hey, I'm upgrading and upgrading my stuff and updating my stuff as I go, you know, you work, you get paid, and then you spend your money on bills, and then sometimes you're able to get some cool little gadgets and toys. And in this case, these gadgets and toys can actually, they're like an investment. They can make you money because you're spending this money not just to, um, you know, throw it away, but in something I really like. So this connects to the back of this. Turn that back on. You can see that little hole right there. This right here, you take this off. There's like a little cap there and that comes off and then there here's the case for this so there's the lens it's the lens cover and that's an anamorphic uh, phone lens and it creates these cool little uh, anamorphic flares another reference point for a movie uh, apocalypse now that's it's filmed in like a cinematic cinemascope type deal because it's got that grand scale uh, other than Batman movies, um, another good one would be the J.J. Abrams Star Trek film, the the one that he did. I don't know how many he did, but the very first one, uh, there's a lot of uh, flares uh, in the movie. When you see the movie, it's filmed with a uh, cinema, cinematic anamorphic lens. So there's these cool little lens flares in the movie that kind of add to the whole space kind of futuristic Star Trek-y space kind of thing and he jj abrams being a brilliant filmmaker knew how to get you to feel like you were in outer space with the starship enterprise and the crew uh another good one since we're and it's funny how it's the proper time because we're in the we're in the month of october which is you know the halloween month the movie the original movie halloween with jason uh, not jason that was friday the 13th um uh 
Michael Myers, right? Michael Myers. Jamie Curtis, Jamie Lee Curtis in the very first movie. I think that's her first film. I don't know. But that movie came out when I was a kid. I'm 53 years old. That movie came out in the 70s. That movie was filmed by John Carpenter, which is like, he's a revered, uh, you know, horror movie, classic horror movie type director. You guys who are into horror movies know who I'm talking about. If you don't know who John Carpenter is, look him up on IDMB or IMDB or just uh, watch the movie, the original movie, Halloween 1 and Halloween 2. Those two are classics. The first one and the second one was a, was a uh, you know, the uh, sequel. Wow. Well received. Halloween 2, well received. But when you see both of those films, they're filmed in an anamorphic style cinemascope lens, which gives it that length that I was talking about where it's horizontally longer and it makes it a scarier movie so when you see the effect of that anamorphic cinematic cinemascope style stretched out uh, wide lens it's a wide angle lens when you see the movie you'll see what I'm talking about. especially when you watch the first one it makes it creepier because it's it's a brilliant way to make films not just uh, horror films any film Apocalypse Now is scary too because it's a war movie same thing they filmed it in cinemascope but when you see it, like even uh, Quentin Tarantino, he's known to use anamorphic lenses and he likes to film in cinematic. If you see the movie Django, uh, the D is silent, so it's not the Django, it's Django. You see the movie Django um, with Qu Quentin Tarantino directed it, you know, Sam Jackson and uh, Jamie, Cur or Jamie, uh, Jamie Foxx and the German guy, I forget his name, and Don Johnson. Leonardo DiCaprio was what a great cast that's filmed in an anamorphic style with the anamorphic lens so it's bigger it just looks bigger it just looks like grander you'll see there's a difference between you know there's Panavision there's cinematic anamorphic the anamorphic is what that is but it's just amazing that you can do an anamorphic lens for a cell phone camera that's how far uh, technology in movie making, which movie making as an art form or as a science is constantly getting better and evolving because it's, it's as an art form, it's only about 100 years old, you know, since what, the 1920s, silent films, that's when they first got started, moving pictures, motion pictures, and then the 30s, there's sound, and then the 40s and 50s and on until we have now, so it's just about 100, maybe a little over 100 years old. So there's still a lot, a lot of new discovery still left, and I'm, you know, following along with it with my, in my own way. So, anyways, I just wanted to kind of talk about the Amazon guy just stopped by a few minutes ago, and it updates you on the app like, oh, your package has arrived, and it's kind of exciting. Uh, so you guys who are Prime users and Prime shoppers, I know you guys get excited for your packages. Don't act like you don't. Don't front. Everybody gets excited when they get something new. Oh, the cost. Uh, so the anamorphic lens, this, this anamorphic lens uh, was $59. And that was also a good deal because a lot of times those are 100 bucks. I've seen them for 120. I've been doing a lot of uh, research on YouTube and Google searches and Amazon searches. And there's a lot of companies that make them. Moment is a big one. And Moment sells, they have some fairly expensive ones. Like their average cost for one of their anamorphic lenses is $99. But when I did a comparison with this one and the, and the Moment, it's the same thing. It literally is the same thing. Uh, now, this company is, what company is that? Doesn't even, doesn't matter, I forget. But... Uh, gosh, what is this? Doesn't matter. The point being is, there's a lot of companies that make these, and they can be expensive. So shop around, get the best deal. And I've seen them cheaper than that too. But if you get a really cheap one, like a twenty dollar one, now the quality is kind of degrading. Whereas that still holds up with as far as the quality goes. Fifty nine dollars, you're still keeping that high quality for that type of uh, lens. And you're not degrading. The lens is, is got a high rating. Uh, a lot of stars. Like if you look it up. It was rec matter of fact, that one was recommended by Amazon. Uh, like Editor's Choice or Amazon Choice or whatever. 
and I can't think of the name of the company. And I'm looking on the box for that, and I don't see it. But that's what it looks like. So turn this off again. First of all, it's bright. There you go. So if you're interested, what I can do is put a description. I'll, I'll, I'll list it. I'll, I'll look it all up, make sure I get everything accurate. And I'll do a, a detailed uh, description listing of all three of these things. The SanDisk 32 gigabyte SD card that's good for capturing high def video and so forth. The DJ, DJI Osmo 3. There's four generations. I got the third one and they're pretty much the same thing. Uh, the main difference being that the new one has a magnet instead of the clamps to grab your phone. Other than that, it's the same thing. And they actually look the same too. So why drop $160 when you can drop $87 and get the same? That's Hey, I'm a bargain shopper. You guys can call me cheapskate all you want to. I'm not a cheapskate. I'm a frugal bargain shopper. Penny saved is a penny earned, man. So um, pretty cool stuff. I'm going to get down with it, have some fun with this, mess around a little bit. And charge it up and just, you know, do some do some videos. I'm going to definitely up my game. Thank you guys for being patient with me. Because um, my video qualities hopefully will now improve dramatically by 20%, 30%. When I do my fitness, when I do my DJing, when I do my aerial photography with my drones. And when I'm just filming people and doing my, uh, you know, my travels. Because I'm going to do some travel videos. That's something I really look forward to. And this is this is a big part of that. So uh, thanks a lot, man. You guys are awesome. <clears throat> I only have 170 subscribers. But each and every subscriber matters. You guys matter. Um, I remember there was a time when I had like 20 subscribers for a long time. So I was at 168 up until like a week ago. And now I'm at 170. So I'm like, man, thank you. Whoever joined or subscribed to me within the last couple of weeks. I appreciate you. Thank you very much because I know I'm uh, an amateur at this, but I'm learning, right? Hey, stay positive. Staff Sergeant Calhoun with my new toys that I'm going to get down with. Uh, stay tuned for some better quality stuff coming from Whittier, from Staff Sergeant Calhoun, who is now kind of a semi-pro vlogger, amateur filmmaker, um, YouTuber extraordinaire. And uh, you guys are all cool, man. Love you guys. Prayers. Like I say, I always say this and, it's, and it holds true. You guys want me to pray for you? Leave it in the comments. Be specific and I will pray specifically for you. Jesus is Lord. See you guys later. That's my count. Out.